Doris van Herpen is an exceptional designer who mixes technology and craft. Working since 2007 out of her Amsterdam studio, she shows in Paris a mixture of couture and ready-to-wear. So Iris van Herpen, I'm very intrigued because I'm looking here at extraordinary clothes made from extraordinary materials and I don't know how to describe you. Are you a fashion designer? Are you an alchemist? Are you a scientist? Um, I don't see myself as a scientist or an alchemist, but I do feel really inspired by um, different fields like uh, technology, but also the arts. Um, dance, um, even uh, philosophy, like all these worlds uh, come together in my, in my work, but I do see myself as a designer, blending, uh, blending the borders. I do try to uh, change the habits of a material or change the way a technique is being used. We made shoes with the help of a magnetic force that was in collaboration with an artist. And collaborating with an artist or even a scientist or an architect really makes me think in a different way and it really opens up my world, my little bubble each time. If I made a collection that I'm happy with, I, I really grew into it and it's, it's essential for everything I do. I, I've never made something that I already knew how to make it. It's always this research of pushing myself into something I actually feel quite unsure about. I've been looking at this book and there are some pretty extraordinary things in it. There's something here that looks like snakes. There are other things that look as though they're dragons on the page. Do you set out to make the extraordinary or is it that to me it's extraordinary, to you it's natural? I think to me it's pretty natural. Like for example the snake dress, um, people can see it as pretty dark. I don't really uh, perceive it that way. It's it's for me just a really beautiful dress. It, it was actually also moving on the one way, but I think that was too detailed for people to see. But I, I like playing with these very quite futuristic materials in a very organic way. Like if you look at this one, it's 3D printed, but it looks like a fossil-like structure. So in a way it looks very organic, but technology is involved to be able to create it nature, science and snakes that move on the runway, it all sounds very futuristic to me. Thank you, Iris van Herpen. Thank you so much.